Peter Mason, a college senior, having planned an encounter with a young woman whom he finds attractive, then behaves in such a way as to prevent the relationship he wants from developing. We call such inappropriate, self-defeating behavior neurotic. Most of us have, on occasion, regarded someone we know, perhaps at times even ourselves, as neurotic in some degree. In fact, some psychologists argue that everyone in our culture is neurotic. But what does neurotic mean? What is neurotic behavior? And what causes it? To shed light on these questions, we will examine the symptoms that lead us to regard Peter's behavior as neurotic and will probe the underlying mental forces which we believe motivate that behavior. The point of view we will assume is termed psychodynamic. Oh, wow. So there's not really that much difference at all, really. Okay. Well, I gotta go to buy it. I'll see ya. All right. Take I'll it see easy. you later. Take it easy. Hey, you know that girl Lisa, the one who used to go out with Rod? Yeah. All right. Well, she's been pumping me for information about you. You know, like who your friends are. You know, what kind of things you do, stuff like that. So she told me that tonight she's going to be at the bio lab. I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean you don't know? Well, those things never work. Well, you got to be kidding. Yeah, <laughs> I guess I should. I'll go over there tonight. I got to go. <laughs> we'll see you. Our premise is that, during early childhood, Peter was, in psychodynamic terms, traumatized by painful experiences resulting from the harsh disciplinary methods employed by his mother, particularly in relation to her overconcern for cleanliness. <laughs> 